Hello, Italians, and welcome back to Hyperspeed. This is where I try to speed more maze games while drinking Red Bull. No, it was not a slip of the tongue this time. My local generic brand, Stop and Mart, was out of my favorite flavor of Monster, so I'm back on my old shit. Red Bull. Not sponsored by Red Bull, but we could be. Today we're returning to the classics, because while I enjoyed doing on Dark Souls quite a bit, I think this show is a lot more entertaining when I'm doing a 2D fast-paced game where the deaths are rapid, and rather than an artistic masterpiece like Dark Souls, where the deaths are plentiful but mostly concentrated around boss rooms. And if boss rooms are the highlight of this show, then oh boy, do I have a game for you guys. Today I'm playing the beautiful boss battle bonanza that is Cuphead. You can tell I genuinely like this game because the Let's Play hype around it has long died out by now and I'm still choosing to play it. Now the way this show works is every death I take a sip of this until I either win, run out of Red Bull, or have catastrophic heart failure. So, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open and jump in. Actually, there is one more ado because I have an announcement. Um, I actually just started a new YouTube channel, uh, let me bring it up here, um, called Dungeons and Dragons, which is going to be D&D themed and focus on stories from D&D in the past, uh, while I also sketch some of my characters and situations, um, maybe monsters. So, uh, if that at all interests you, if you're a big fan of fantasy or um, drawfy, it's going to be kind of like a kind of like a drawfy but D&D themed. Uh, if that at all interests you, go check it out. Um, I'm excited to put some more videos up there. Right now I only have one, and it's just an introduction to the concept. So, um, go check it out. Now, time to get started. It's really precariously placed. The can keeps wobbling and I don't like it. Let me just start a 15 minute timer here so that I know when an episode is up. Oh, that reminds me, we're also going to be shortening these episodes down to the usual 15 minute format rather than uh, the hours long that I usually do. Um, because this game's a little structured a little bit differently. Um, and 15 minute videos do better on YouTube anyway. So, here we go. So, I know that literally the only reason people didn't complain about me getting help from Nathan in the Dark Souls run was because nobody watched the videos. Uh, <laughs> but, but, um, I hear your non-existent complaints. So, despite the fact that playing this game multiplayer makes it incredibly easy, we're not going to. This is going to be a solo run only. Also, disclaimer for those of you who haven't seen the series before, which is everyone since nobody watches my videos. <laughs> um... I... Sorry, this is a little loud for me. Um, I say I attempt to speedrun Rage Games, but in truth, I am not uh, attempting to go any fast. I'm not trying to break any records here. I'm not gonna... I'm aware I'm not gonna break any records here. Um, it's... When I say that, I mostly mean complete it in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> Which is a challenge enough for me, especially when I'm on Red Bull. So, here we go. Um... Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. Only Cuphead ever did anything, though, because Mugman was the second player. They lived without a care, under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks, and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, explained King Dice. Casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. <clears throat> nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Cuphead had already fucked them both. Snake eyes, laughed the devil, while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives, 
There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of run my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now, get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened, and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Devil. He'll know what to do. And so we begin. Our crazy journey. Cuphead and Mugman. But mostly Cuphead, because I'm playing alone. Um, it's really uncomfortable for me to lean forward. I know it, I know I look better on the camera what I do. But, uh... And also, when I do, I draw attention away from the red solo cup that's sitting back there next to an empty bottle of uh, apple juice. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> what a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourself into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion, so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Alright, cool. Good, that means we can finally be done uh, reading text. Um, <laughs> my, oh, sorry, cross. I was pressing triangle like a fucking idiot. Like the fucking idiot that I am. That deserves a sip. Also, I'm thirsty because I just ate breakfast, so. That too. Alright, let's see. Tutorial. Duck. Well, down to crouch, alright. Cross. Uh, jump. Tap or short jump. Both or high jump. Alright. Uh, cool. Alright, uh, hmm. Shit, I just can't get over this obstacle. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Old jokes aside. Uh, <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> that deserves a sip, too. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright, I'm done fucking around. Time to actually be serious. <laughs> ba 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 boom yeah, I've actually, I've played this game already, I beat it once. I always, um, vet my games for hyperspeed before I play them, because I want to know for sure that I can finish them on, on a show, and not, uh, fuck myself over with, um, how much, uh, it affects me. Uh, I want to know for sure that I can do it. And let me tell you, this one took me a lot of tries, uh, so it, this might end up being another, uh, Meat Boy situation where I spent like seven hours in the last episode. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Um, it's gonna be an exciting journey. I think this is the appropriate level of difficulty while also being um, perfect, the perfect type of game for hyperspeed. A uh, very fast paced rage game where you can easily die. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to him again, see if he has anything else to say. You'll have to lay all, all those debtors to move on. Now shake a leg. Alright. Let's go. I don't know why he wanted me to do that, but alright. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm a little sick, um, so I'm sure Red Bull's gonna help with that. <laughs> Natural remedies right there. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, let's see what this guy's doing. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer to just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. That's gonna be my first three gold coins. Um, on this run, I'm not going to 100% the game. Um, I'm going to do only what's required to beat the game. Uh, which is the boss battles, and just enough of the uh, running guns in order to unlock all of the loadout I usually use. Um, and I believe, if I'm correct, uh, by doing uh, the first two running gun levels, which I already know where all the coins are, I can actually get everything I need, everything I usually use as my loadout before I even enter the first boss. So, yeah, that's good. Shit. Okay. Alright, 
These guys don't stop if I don't move on, so I'm just gonna have to move on. Alright. I'm taking my time here, which is not normally my uh, approach to hyperspeed, but I really hate these running gun levels and don't want to have to do them again. So yeah, I'm gonna take my time for now. At least until I get past these assholes. Okay, there we go. I also have to admit, I am not the best at the parrying mechanic. I can do it sometimes, but not all the time. God damn it. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be a point of contention for me. That's gonna be the main struggle as things go on. Looks like I might have to repeat this level. Whoa. That physically moves through my character model, and I'm glad it didn't kill me, even though it really should have. Ah, oh, shit. These guys are actually the worst. Okay. Alright, so. Have my full shit. Oh, fuck, I forgot to do the dash. I wasn't fucking- I wasn't kidding around that time. That was just me being an idiot. I beat this game a while ago. I haven't played it in some time, so I gotta get used to the controls again. Um. Because I'm not quite used to it yet. Uh, but we'll see. I should be fine. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get through this first level really quickly because honestly the run gun levels are not the fun part of this game. Um, shit. In fact, they're the most frustrating part in my opinion. They're hard, but like, not in a fun way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love almost every facet of this game. Almost. <laughs> The running gun levels I kind of don't like. Um, but you know, hey, not everything about the game can be perfect. It's a very good game as it is. Uh, so, you know, you take the good with the bad. There we go. I ain't dealing with that shit. Nope. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button to dash. It's left, not right. There we go. Some matrix dodging going on here. Alright, shit. I hate that one. It always shows up in the worst place. God. Damn it! <laughs> Off to a great start, guys. You can tell this is gonna be a fun game to watch me get pissed off at. I'm already a little frustrated. And I've literally just started. Um, you can also probably see from how I play that I'm much better at uh, dealing with enemies when they're on the side of me. I'm not super great with the angling up and down thing with the R1. That was... I hit L1 because I'm an idiot. That's what happened there. Quite simply, I'm just an idiot. Ah! I barely dodged that one. Ah! Yep. It's not gonna deal with that shit. That's just not my problem. Here we go. Oh, that's right. I haven't gotten the first ultimate yet, so I can't even. I can't even smack this bit. Oh well. I think I can actually get the first ultimate before even playing this level, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Coins are important, so I'm going to be focusing on getting the coins. That's literally the only reason I'm playing the running gun levels. Haha! -ha! First level completed, and it only took me, I think, four tries? I believe? I wasn't counting. I never count. I'll put it on the screen, maybe. If I'm not lazy when I edit this. A lot of uh, how funny the episode tends, up be, tends to be uh, in any of our shows depends heavily on how I feel while editing. Because <laughs> I like to put in a lot of editing jokes. Alright, yep. That's one. There we go. Now I think if I get all of the coins from this one and all of the coins from the other one, I will be able to uh, get my shit right off the start. If I remember this one correctly, you can just walk forward for quite a while, as long as you're shooting. 
Aha, this one's hard. Damn it. Yep, let me see if I can aggro another one and get it to come over here. Not a, not a big one. Alright. Now I'm going to try to not use the retry button. But, for things like this situation, I'm going to have to. Um, because I really just have to get that one coin. You know, I, I can't miss my opportunity. I'm just, like, the run's over if I do. <laughs> so. Like that. I'm gonna drink ahead of time this time. Alright. Let's retry. So, this first section, I can actually just beat this by walking forward and gunning. Uh, which makes this really easy. But then... This part is where it gets hard because. Damn it. Shit, I think you can do it by. Yeah, there we go. Never mind, I didn't have to restart all those times. Let me just put that drink back in my mouth. I mean, back out of my mouth into the can. Alright, cool. There we go. Whoop. Bick. Ah, oh, goddammit. This is where this level gets hard. Um, for the actual reason of it being hard, not just because, uh, I have to get everything, but also because it's actually hard. Damn it! Alright, here we go again. Alright, don't worry, after I beat these two levels, uh, which will probably take up the entire first episode, actually yes, I only have a minute and a half left, once I beat these first two, first two levels and get through this, first episode, uh, we'll go straight to the boss rush, um, because that would be all that there is left. Oh, goddamn. I didn't know that was gonna spawn in, even though I had already gone to this area. Oh well. There we go. Why is there no bug here this time? Not that I'm complaining. I'm glad. But, why? Furthermore, why was there a bug there last time, when I didn't want there to be? Shit. I really hate this, uh, ascension of this tree trunk. It's honestly my least favorite part of this level. So yeah, I'm not... Sorry, I'm not talking to a whole lot because this part is very frustrating and I don't want to have to repeat it. Um, still have two life. I wish I had more, but well, shit. I said more, not less, damn it. Damn it, alright. Fuck. Hello and welcome to the part of the episode that's almost exclusively me cursing. Alright. <laughs> Damn, fuck, shit, damn, bitch, huh. Alright, it's out of my system. Here we go now. Oh, I missed it. What the shit. Why am I having- Hey, you listen! Shut the shit up! I'm not gonna restart that yet, I wanna at least get through, um, this attempt before I start the next episode. Um, why is it that I can't get this now? Aha! There we go. I got it. Oh boy! Alright, last attempt. I'm gonna do this quietly, because I'm hoping to get through it at the end of this, and it's the end of the level, or uh, the end of the episode anyway. Let me just, um, do that. One quiet attempt. Hate those bugs. They just track right to you. No warning or anything. Alright, I have one hit left. If you beat this level with one hit, I'm good. But that's gonna be a difficult thing to do. Especially when these panels start moving in opposite directions when I don't expect it. Fuck! I shouldn't have tried to do that, I should have gone to the next panel first, just to be sure. Alright, that ends this episode.
Thanks for watching. I'm already high on energy drink. Uh, stay interesting.